but instead of placing a rising fee on carbon emissions to make fossil fuels pay their true cost to society, our governments are forcing the public to subsidize fossil fuels by 400 to 500 billion dollars per year worldwide, thus encouraging extraction of every fossil fuel, mountaintop removal, long wall mining, fracking, tar sands, tar shale, deep ocean, arctic drilling, this path, if continued, guarantees that we will pass tipping points, leading to ice sheet disintegration that will accelerate out of control of future generations. A large fraction of species will be committed to extinction. An increasing intensity of droughts and floods will severely impact breadbaskets of the world, causing massive famines and economic decline. Imagine a giant asteroid on a direct collision course with Earth. That is the equivalent of what we face now. Yet we dither, taking no action to divert the asteroid, even though the longer we wait, the more difficult and expensive it becomes. If we'd started in 2005, it would have required emission reductions of 3% per year to restore planetary energy balance and stabilize climate this century. If we start next year, it is 6% per year. If we wait 10 years, it is 15% per year. Extremely difficult and expensive, perhaps impossible. But we aren't even starting. So now you know what I know that is moving me to sound this alarm. Clearly, I haven't got this message across. The science is clear. I need your help to communicate the gravity and the urgency of this situation and its solutions more effectively. We owe it to our children and grandchildren. Thank you.